the examiner of patents and science, IPO Kolkata, respected principal of KG College, Dr. Shaila Abraham, other respected dignitaries, and our dear students to this webinar on intellectual property rights. KG College Pambadi, a premier higher educational institution that thrives towards excellence, deems it a privilege to understand how patents, trademarks, copyrights and trade secrets work. We believe that it is critical and crucial to protect them. To deliver the official welcome note, let's welcome Lieutenant Ranish Joseph, who is the Assistant Professor of Political Science and IQAC Coordinator of KG College, Pambadi. Thank you, Rina. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. Prospective principal of our college, Dr. Shaila Abraham, the chief resource person for this webinar, Dr. Abhishek Sitka, Ms. Diana, Equity Student of the AQ, Dr. Teachers, Sir Scholars, Students, and my dear colleagues. Intellectual property rights are more important than work in this global, highly connected digital landscape. With all of the good the rise of the internet has done for the sharing of information and ideas, it has unfortunately become easier for ideas and works to be stolen, which can be damaging to both national economies and innovation. It was in this context, a national intellectual property awareness mission under the initiative of the government's Asadika Amrutha Mahotsu was launched on 2021, which aims to provide awareness on intellectual property and its rights to million students. It aims to inculcate the spirit of creativity and innovation to students of higher education and ignite and inspire the students of colleges and universities to innovate and protect their creations. With brief introduction, I would like to welcome our resource person, Dr. Abhishek. <laughs> On behalf of our college, I thank you for accepting our invitation and let me also welcome, extend a warm welcome to our dear principal, Dr. Shaila Abraham. I am thankful to you, Madam, for your kind support, suggestions and guidance given to us. I want to also welcome Diana John, the student representative by the also the teachers, research scholars and students who have joined us from all across the country and my fellow colleagues for taking a keen part in this important program. I am sure that you will feel enriched with knowledge after completion of this event. I once again welcome you all to the seminar and hope that you will have a great time ahead. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now, let's move on to the most awaited session. Let's welcome Dr. Abhishek Sachin to deliver the keynote address.
are you are you not getting my voice yes sir yes sir now 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 it's clear sir okay maybe someone she is there sir you are audible okay yes now we are audible okay so you can start so good afternoon everyone today we are going to discuss about ip rights why do we need them what is the significance of their protection and why this program has been initiated by government of india to enlighten and aware our young generation basically students in colleges schools and the faculties the main reason behind this awareness program is the filing number of filing of ip applications compared to other countries and in our country for example in usa china and europe lakhs of patent application have been filed each year and comparing to our country only 60000 70000 maximum application patent application have been filed last year and in those in these numbers most of the filing let's say 50% 60% filing applications are from foreign applicants so you let's you see the indian applications are far less compared to the foreign application in our country and if we uh, see the total number of applications which is much much less compared to the other countries like china and uh, usa so to increase the filing of indian applicants because our country is also very rich in talent so to aware our faculty students regarding the ip rights protection it's very important to make them aware about this because this will directly affect to the economical growth of our country let's see if some but some company wants to sell their product in our country and that product uh, that product is coming with some patented technology if we have uh, uh, our technology which uh, then they have to compete with the our native products so they have to sell their product at a competitive price like it was happened in case of corona vaccine because our indian pharma companies have developed their own vaccines that why foreign pharma companies have to sell their vaccine at a competitive price they cannot expand the market that's why it will give us an opportunity to export our products in our foreign reserve so that's why ip rights are directly related to the economic growth of the country so we should be aware of this ip rights okay if you are able to get certain property you have to protect it before anybody get it first and start at economical level or industrial level so first we will understand what is a property property means something which belongs to a person and he has all the rights to tell other people that they cannot use that thing or if they want to you from that person that is a basic definition of property otherwise if any everybody is using that thing that means it's a public property so property gives a right to a owner that he has all the rights to exclude others from using that thing for his or her benefit or if the if any other person wants to use it then they have to ask the permission and if the owner of that thing wants to earn some revenue or wants to uh, sell or rent that property then the person who was due property has to pay some part of profit to that person who is the original owner of that thing that is the basic definition of property so as far as property is concerned it can be categorized broadly in two types tangible and intangible tangible means physical things which we see face in our daily life like our mobile phone laptops old car or bike anything 
which we use in our daily life so if somebody for example your friends wants to uh, use that thing then they will ask you that i can use it this thing or not so that, that gives you an idea of that this belongs to you and this is your property so similarly there is an intangible property intangible means the thing which we cannot see or touch so the best example for the intangible property is the idea of our mind is creating right so these ideas are intangible and these ideas are very powerful you can understand this thing because every tangible thing which you you think your deal is created from these ideas and in the beginning the is and they have a huge impact on the human society so the intangible property of human intellect is much more powerful than the tangible properties that's why the protection of these intangible properties is very very important example of intangible property invention literary work designs cartoon characters movies anything so in our country government of india is registering ip rights in six different categories first is patents design trademark geographical indications copyrights and semiconductor integrated circuit layout design these are the six different categories for which any person company or group can apply for an ip right protection you will understand how these ip rights are significant and how they are important to decide the cost of a product for example if you uh, buy five different types of ip rights are hidden inside that product and all these ip rights are deciding the cost of the product the technological part the latest display technology keyboard functioning touchpad functioning the latest chipset everything if you buy a latest thing then the cost will go higher the technological part is covered by patent then the latest design aesthetics of that product is covered by design then the brand logo brand logo is covered by trademark then the user manual all the software which uh, you purchase with the computer is uh, covered by copyright and then the the motherboard the chipset which they uh, tell that this is much more powerful much more efficient and has has higher computation efficiency is covered by circuit layout design sicld so if you go for the latest design latest technology for the branded product then the cost will go higher and you have to pay a premium tax so the price is premium because everything is protected and other companies or competitors are not allowed to copy all these things without the prior permission of the original owner of that property so that's why the proper the cost of the product is higher and in a single product we see how many uh, different types of ip rights are protected and so the next question is how do we create an ip right so ip right means intellectual property right and these ip rights have been created by our mind that is why it is called intellectual property so our mind is starts working working the moment it faces some problem doing certain experiment doing some trial and error experiment or while using previous generation products during this time 
if we face certain problems then our brain starts working to troubleshoot that problem and sometimes for solving certain problems it requires some experimental setup trial and error setup which requires funding resources to be there to solve that problem in an efficient way and uh, sometimes as a research group a group of people is required to solve that problem in form of labor and it is a time consuming process and the moment all three is in a collaboration brain resources and hard work the time then the outcome the final outcome in form of solution of that property in a matured form is called an intellectual property or in form of an invention so you see this process requires lots of money hard work and time that's why the protection of this property is very important so that the foreign companies big investors or anybody who wants to who feels that this is useful for them cannot use this property without the prior permission of the original creator because he has invested his money time and hard work for the generation of this property so significance of, of ip rights is the moment you get your ip rights protected it excludes other for utilizing that uh, invention or ip rights for their industrial usage or economic benefit or revenue generation so only the owner of that ip right can utilize commercialize and earn revenue from that ip right all other person are excluded and if the original owner of that property feel that somebody is infringing the right then he, he or she can sue that uh, person or company that they are infringing their his or her rights regarding certain ip Uh, intellectual property so the person or the original inventor can use that ip right for their own in their own company like one of the inventor feels that he or she is not able to utilize that patent or any other ip right at revenue for revenue generation at industrial level then they can license or assign big companies big investors to work with that uh, technology or the ip rights and generate revenue and they have to share a part of revenue to the original owner of that property in case of copyrights the characters or the stories which have been developed for storytelling can be franchised for the to the publication house so that they can uh, uh, then get more and more copies and sell the copies of the novel to other copyrights to earn more and more revenue and they have to sell a royalty to the original owner of the copyright if somebody has created a famous cartoon characters like marvel and disney then they can merchandise their characters on t-shirts and other things for for the revenue generation so this is the power of ip right they are very powerful for example if uh, somebody nobody can print uh, marvel or disney character on their t-shirt without the prior permission of uh, the original owner of that cartoon character so that's why ip right protection is very important which gives uh, all rights reserved for the original owner of that ip so for common person for institutions for students and faculty it is very prestigious to have patents designed trademark register uh, on their name or on behalf of their institution's name it is very prestigious in academics and if the ip right has certain industry applicability then it can be the technology can be transferred to the industry and revenue can be generated and which can be further utilized for for the research and development to generate more and more ip rights for business point of view if a business man or a company has a different type of ip right then they can commercialize more and more products which will increase their portfolio and during the expansion of their product portfolio they will create it will create a enhanced brand value for that product and it will lead to 
more and more revenue generation and after that they will reinvest after they do for the further research and development to generate more profit so it's like a cycle that's why every time they uh, the companies are filing patents design application to secure the future technology and future products this is a introduction of ip rights now we will discuss each ip rights in a very short manner so patent is awarded by government of india and patent is a sovereign right if you get a patent in india then it, all rights are protected in indian territory and if you feel that your invention or technology is useful in certain other parts of the world then you have to apply for a the patent in that part of the world or in that country separately so in our country patent is awarded for two categories in case of new product or a new process if a product is new means that it was not existed before in case of in that case the patent will be granted if the product was there and you have invented a new process by which you are claiming that your process is Higher as I higher efficiency, less power consumption, more more output. In that case, also a new pro new product, uh, new process patent will be granted. So patent uh, the term uh, term of the patent is twenty years. For the twenty years, the, uh, all rights are reserved, and after the completion of twenty years, patent will go in public domain. In this slide, you see uh, some very famous in inventors with their inventions, and the moment you look very carefully, these inventions have been created, invented by the inventor by solving certain very basic problems, like Alexander Graham Bell telephone, Rice Mill aeroplane, Alexander Fleming pencil. All these things have been invented by solving very basic problems. for example you have seen recently the stumps and bales in cricket are having leds these are also patented product that's why you have seen after the completion of match no player is allowed to take the stumps or bales with them as a souvenir these stumps and bales have been these stumps and bales have been invented by solving a very basic problem which have happened sometimes during very certain critical to make very certain critical decisions of run out and stumping because the camera uh, has a limitation to catch capture the frames it is it was very difficult sometimes to judge where whether the ball hit the stump first or the first batsman or the bat was inside the tree get inside the tree first so to solve that problem leds with a circuit has been incorporated in stumps and bales the moment ball ball hit the stumps immediately in milliseconds the led starts blinking and the light can be captured by the camera very easily and in very fast manner that's why these systems are very useful during the very uh, to uh, to only one person or one company is making these stuff in the world for the uh, usage in this slide you can see some famous indian inventions for which the patent has been granted for tata nano car hepatitis vaccine jaipur prosthetic kit for example tata nano car tata promised to deliver the car and one lakh so that they to develop new process to pass out the car for the cost cutting of the car so that no robot can copy the technology for the other thing of their cars and so many patents have been filed by tata motor for the protection of tata nano design technology and other components which they are using to manufacture a car in their work done so every product 
which you are using in your daily life has certain hidden IP rights and patented technology in, in them. Transfer uh, and communication methods, drones, mobile phones, laptop, everything has some patented technology hidden inside them. That's why they are unique.
about the various summarizes what we have discussed regarding patent and for for filing a patent application a fee for the institutions and the ordinary person is a very less for filing a patent application up to 30 pages and 10 claims the fee is uh, 1600 and the request for examination fee is 4000 so the total fee for the patent application is 5600 and it is important to file a patent application with form 18 otherwise it will not go for the examination so the next ip right is design design is mainly related to the visual appeal aesthetics of a product to create a new design it is a very challenging task and it requires lots of trial and error and hard work to create a new and beautiful design which everybody likes because most of the design is polarizing means some people like it some people don't like it. so design is a only just by the its visual appeal design can be only just by from the eyes so the design is very important uh, part for the product other because if consumers doesn't like the design the product cannot be sold so design should be very appropriate and very beautiful that's why design registration is very important so that the design uh, which has been created by so much effort cannot be copied very easily by the competitors so the term of the design is 10 years and it can be extended for next 5 years so the maximum term of the design is 10 years for example why design is design is important so like for example bottles most of the time bottles are made from a similar type of material like glass plastic steel etc the only difference is in their design and if you buy a beautiful design latest design then the cost of the bottle will be higher design is very important aspect of a product so every time i appealing product has the ability to be sold in higher quantity that's why design is a very important aspect of a product and design can be also registered for a single product or a set of a product for example jewelry set sofa set means design can be also registered for a combination of a products this is the example of a design certificate which is awarded by the government of india and the certificate is online and if you want to get a hard copy to a design registration from the office and every ip address can be registered online you can file the ip registration from ip address online you need not to come to the office for your application and its processing everything is online next ip address is trademark trademark is the mark or the symbol under which the company or the person is selling their product or service so it is a unique word name symbol which defines the company and defines the company means the symbol represents the trust of people the brand value which the company or the person has created by selling their products or services over a period of time so nobody is allowed to counterfeit their product or services under that brand name or trade name because it will hamper the revenue of that original owner of the trademark that's why the trademark registration is very important these are the examples of some very famous trademark for uh, some certain products and services and the moment you see this trademark you decide that you are going to buy this uh, service or product or not based on your previous experience as you have seen these two types of symbols on different types of product tm means the trademark registration is under process when the trademark is registered it is presented by the circuit board and the term of trademark is 10 years and you can renew it after each 10 year for the next 10 year until you want so there is no uh, end of trademark you can renew it 
at the end of each 10 years or the next 10 years. Next IP right is copyright. Copyright is related to the non-technical ideas which have been there in the mind sometimes for storytelling, novel, poems, movies, uh, drama. To protect all these non-technical ideas which have a huge significance due to the uh, huge amount of audience for that. That's why the protection of original ideas which are non-technical in nature is very important and the Copyright Act protects all these types of ideas which have a huge revenue generation ability. So, subject matter of copyright is literary work, art work, drama, music, sound recording and cinematography. So, these uh, non-technical ideas on the copyright have a term of their protection. For example, the literary work, drama and art and music work, the protection term is lifetime of the author plus 60 years. During this term, the original owner of the copyright has all rights to get the royalty if somebody wants to use that copyright for the new generation. Cinematography and films, it is 60 years from the date of year of publication and broadcasting and production rights, 20 years, performance of rights like live performance, theatre performance, it is 50. Next, IP right is SI CLD. SI CLD is mainly related to the design of ICs, chips and processors. So, to create a integrated circuit design on a semiconductor at a very small scale is a very challenging task. And these uh, chips have uh, claimed to have a higher uh, ability for computation, less for consumption, and less heating problems from compared to the previous generation chips. That's why to protect that uh, chip design, the SI CLD is there. Under this IP right, all types of integrated circuit designs can be protected and the term of protection is 10 years. This is the example of the circuit design which is uh, protected by SI CLD. And this electronics Next जिंदी चोर के साथ घमासान के बाद अब आईपी नानी बिजी हो गई अपनी पोती की शादी की तैयारियों में संगीत वाले दिन जब छोटू उनसे मिला तो वाओ नानी आप तो बिल्कुल छाए हुए हो आपके सामने तो मधुबालक तो भी कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाए ओए मस्का लगाना बंद कर ये बता तुझे क्या चाहिए आपने तो तोड़ा बच्चा अपने नानी को कॉम्प्लीमेंट भी नहीं दी इस तरह मुझे कुछ चाहिए बस आपकी हाथ की वो स्पेशल वाली चाय पीनी है बस इतनी सी बात के लिए इतना बड़ा नहीं ना कि सचमुच ये साड़ी आप पर बहुत ही अच्छी लग रही है अरे ये तो स्पेशल चिकनकारी है चिकनकारी पूरी दुनिया में मशहूर है ये अपनी खूबसूरत और बारीक एम्ब्रॉयडरी के काम के लिए फेमस है लेकिन पता है इसकी सबसे बड़ी खासियत क्या है क्या है ये एक रजिस्टर्ड डीआई है जी वो क्या होता है नानी डीआई का मतलब है जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन हिंदी में जिसे भौगोलिक उपदर्शन कहते हैं ये किसी समुदाय का बौद्धिक अधिकार है जो विरासत जिन्हें प्रोटेक्ट और एनकरेज करने की बहुत आवश्यकता है मुख्यतः इन 
टाइप्स में रजिस्टर्ड उत्पीड है नेचुरल गुड्स मैन्युफैक्चर गुड्स टेक्सटाइल हैंडीक्राफ्ट फूड स्टफ चल अब ना किचन में चलते हैं और गर्मा गर्म चाय बनाते हैं किचन की ओर जाते हुए नानी ने छोटू को अपना तेज घुमा दिया छोटू जी नानी ये देख ये पेंटिंग देख ये मधुबनी पेंटिंग है बिहार की और ये है हिमाचल की कांगड़ा पेंटिंग तेरे नानी को देश की कला और संस्कृति से जुड़ी हुई चीजों को इकट्ठा करने का बहुत शौक है ये कठपुतलिया देख रहा है ये राजस्थान की है इसी तरह छत्तीसगढ़ से बस्तर ढोकरा आंध्र प्रदेश से तिरुपति लड्डू असम से मुगा सिल्क नागालैंड से नागा मिर्च और मध्य प्रदेश के बाघ प्रिंट ये सब ये हमारे देश की कला और संस्कृति का प्रतीक है हमारे देश में हुनर और कला का इतना भंडार है कि अभी से ही 300 से ज्यादा रजिस्टर्ड सीआई है नानी चल अब तू चाय बनाने में मेरी मदद कर और उबाल के रख यस बॉस पता है तो तुझे मेरे हाथ इतनी पसंद क्यों है क्यों है नानी क्योंकि रजिस्टर्ड जीआई है जो चार में एक बात बताओ जीआई से फायदा क्या होता है विश्वास हो जाता है कि वो
for the uh, deciding factor for the cost of that product and these ip rights are very useful to get our country economically self reliant South Asian Studies in Pondicherry University. Yes. So, so I want to ask and ask a question that uh, we have studied about IPR. So there are also yes. sir some instances that uh, Indian firms have accused foreign companies that they have stole their blueprint regarding pharmacy, regarding uh, stories, regarding everything. Mm -hmm. So what uh, government of India is doing to prevent to prevent uh, stealing of blueprints? Regarding technology, see, IP rights are territorial rights. If somebody has a patented or any IP rights protected in India, then the government of India can deal with the infringement within Indian territory. In the beginning, it was clearly, uh, clearly mentioned that the patent or all the IP rights are territorial in nature. If the company or any person feel that their IP right is also useful in certain other part of the world, then they have to go for the protection of that IP right separately or uh, also in that part of the world in other countries separately. In other countries, the government of India cannot do it. So, all rights are reserved in Indian territory. If some foreign companies are infringing that right in India, then the person can or the company can sue them that they are infringing the rights, the patent technology and they are selling the counterfeit product in India. Okay. 
ओके सर थैंक यू सर You, if you feel that your technology is useful in other part of the world, then you have to go for the uh, separately to patent your invention in all these countries where you feel that your product is or the service is useful. Otherwise, any company can go. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Afternoon, sir. One question. Hello. Please. Your voice is not uh, clear. Ah, uh, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, I want to know in this PP uh, matter, uh, how should we register our community rituals, costumes, etc. in this matter, if it is applicable? Please tell. For uh, cultural heritage, there is only one GI. Yes, yes, sir. Cultural. The only one IP is GI. GI type in which you have seen the uh, six different types of categories in which you can register your GI in, in case of uh, manufactured goods, goods, products. These types of uh, cultural heritage products can be registered under GI, and GI tag will be given to the community who are manufacturing these things, and. Oh, and uh, actually, sir, actually, sir, our uh, product is not a for, for commercial use. We are uh, have uh, some rituals. Uh, we had follow from uh, many years old. So, how protect that? Rituals means traditional knowledge for the protection of the traditional knowledge. Government of India has created. That uh, TKD, traditional knowledge digital library, in which all the this traditional knowledge has been preserved. And if somebody wants to copy it, then anybody can uh, tell that this is already preserved in the TKD. So you are not allowed to utilize benefit because all the IP rights. Have the character that they are genuine and they are new in nature, and if something has been published already, so that thing is not new. That that means it cannot be protected. So the, all the traditional knowledge has been reserved in TKDL, uh, the traditional knowledge digital library, so that it cannot be copied. Okay, sir. Thank you. So if you feel that uh, any custom or any traditional knowledge. You are uh, telling, or you are thinking, it is not that. Then you can uh, add that thing in the TKDL, or you can uh, go through the TKDL to see that uh, your uh, traditional knowledge is there in the library, uh, present or not. Sir, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, sir, I am Diana John, third year B Com student of KG College, Pambadi. So my doubt was uh, uh, the application process for acquiring this patents, copyrights, and trademarks are they all the same? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Are you able to hear me? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Sir. So the process is nearly same. You have to go to fill certain forms. For example, I can explain you with patent, and the process is nearly similar. For example, patent file certain forms. Form one is for your uh, the details of the patent. Form two for the description of the invention. Form three is for the uh, foreign application of the patent. Is the detail for the inventors and form it for the for examination. So for all IP rights, there are certain basic forms which are very easy to fill and everything is online. And you have to pay the fee for the IP rights and your application. Go to the department. Uh, it's very easy. Everything is online. You can you can pay the fee online. You can submit your application online. After that, it will go for the examination. To check whether it is new or not, 
and once it pass all the criteria, it will be awarded an IP right to the applicant. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, what is the minimum uh, period that you need to write for get the patent? Uh, I cannot write it. What is the minimum maximum maximum period that you get the patent that you can get? Suppose you are submitting an application, uh, how many days it will take for the Okay, okay. So the process is a very fast these uh, days. If you submit your application, you form team, not the examination. If you do not submit the application, will not submission. Your patent will not proceed. The mission of formatting will go directly to the examination and it will be examined and set of objects. based on the patent act and immediately after that it will be granted. So the maximum is not one year. It is only one year. But the term of the patent will be starting from the date of your application. Not from the date of your grant. 20 years will start from the date of the application. Application will start. Then uh, this design a design and utility patent is Little different, right? I mean, utility patent. Utility patent is not in India. Okay. In India, only two types of patent: product or process. No utility patent in India. Okay. Okay, sir. In Europe, they grant. <laughs> Constant guidance of both in adopting this program, a 
special thanks for the day of such and sir. It's patience and thanks I feel and for keeping your word. Be here with us today and for inviting us to discuss this information regarding intellectual property. Thank you, sir. The patent of, of, of the department of industry and internal trade, the Ministry of Commerce and Industry Government India, for their wonderful collaboration with our institution to gather this program. A deepest coordinator, Lieutenant Renish Professor, for giving me this opportunity and to make this program possible. We have teachers, students, and research scholars across the country attending this program with us today. I would like to thank each and every of you for your This program a resounding success. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Queen. For all the participants who have joined the program from the course all the country. Thank you all. Have a good day. Thank you so much. To close the session.